Hey guys, so I want to kind of give you a quick behind the scenes look of um, how I shoot my intros, what I put into it. The first thing that I do is I start off with a script um, that I just write down. You can type it out or whatever. And since I don't have like a teleprompter, I just end up memorizing what I have to say. And that's the beginning. And then once you have that, you can start. Uh, conceptualizing and uh, setting up what you want um, the introduction to look like. You can write yourself notes as to what you want, the action you want going on. And what I have set up here is just uh, since I'm doing something that involves uh, older kind of retro stuff, I wanted to give kind of a, a just like a classical like feel to the introduction. And um, so I got this little plastic fake plastic plant behind it. I got my microphone setting up beside it just because it has that feel. Even the shirt I'm wearing kind of gives that feel. So um, you don't want to have like random stuff that doesn't quite fit in the shot um, unless it's meant to be there. Uh, just because it detracts from what you're saying, people will be focused on that random useless object instead of what you're doing. A lot of questions will come up and uh, uh, it will kind of counter be counterproductive as to what you're trying to do. Um, and then some of the other stuff that you want to uh, uh, kind of keep in mind is, uh, well, like my microphone here, you want to make sure that your audio gets picked up and there's not like this echo, which a lot of videos are. Normally when I have my HD camera, it has an audio input, which is one of the main reasons I bought it. So I actually have like a little lapel mic that you can see in some of my video introductions that I can just clip on and move around freely. But until I get that back, I have to use this uh, microphone that I got hooked up to my computer. Um, another key uh, uh, thing that you want to uh, pay attention to in your video introductions is lighting. Um, what what I have here is just uh, two lights. Um, they're actually floodlights because I got them for cheap. And there's one right there. It's pointing at the background because um, I want to uh, kind of diminish the shadows behind me. So I've got one pointing directly at the background. And I've got another one right over there that uh, is for the foreground light. Generally, you want to have more, but um, this is just a very basic setup. Uh, just one up front lighting me up and one behind to kind of counteract the shadows. It's not doing that good of a job, as you can see, but given the limited space I've got, it, it works fine. So um, that's something else that you want to pay attention to.